Earth's change in atmosphere. The changes of the atmosphere of planet Earth are actually what's causing what people call chemtrails or, you know, contrails. People think that the government is somehow secretly spraying everyone, but in actuality, these are really contrails that are not dissipating. They are making clouds because of all the moisture in our atmosphere that we did not have before they started. This extra amount of atmosphere, of moisture in the atmosphere is what's causing contrails to not dissipate. Instead, they spread out into clouds. All the particulate matter that's in our atmosphere, all the uh, added moisture, um, the the plant the the vortex of the wing of the tip of the wing of the airplane the vortex it creates the the contrail a lot which is what people think is a chemtrail now don't get me wrong i'm not saying that they don't have modified planes to create seating to make it rain i'm not saying that what I am saying is it's not like the government has some secret plot that, that they're going around spraying every single place. Because if that was true, I would have them here, but I don't. And the reason we don't have them here or where I live is because I'm very isolated and there's no planes flying by. There's no commercial planes flying over. However, in town, about 15 miles away where they have the airport, they do have slight contrailing or chemtrailing. It's not bad because there's not a lot of traffic. But the more plane traffic you have, the more of these contrails or, or chemtrails you're gonna have, more particulate matter there's gonna be, and the more chance that has to create these lasting chemtrails because of the particulate matter, because of the, all the plane, all the pollution from the planes and the added moisture in the atmosphere. That's what I'm saying. Um, why? Why do we have so much moisture in our atmosphere? Well, if you look at the history of our Earth, you know, at one point, we probably had a lot more moisture, a lot different weather. Now, I'm not saying that it's completely natural. What I am saying it, it is, a lot of it is natural. However, humans are not helping the situation. We are also con contributing to it. Um, everything is connected. You know, we're not separate from nature. We're part of it. We contribute to it. That's all I'm saying. Um, I'm just trying to look at this logically. So do your own research. Um, it doesn't mean, you know, watching conspiracy videos. It means really research it. You know, the, the, the moisture, the, the extra moisture we have now in our atmosphere, it's it's why we're having so much rain in certain areas and flooding. Um, I'm at a very high elevation, but you know, that doesn't make me completely safe. Well, very high isn't that high actually. It's, I'm only at about 1600 feet, a little over 1600 feet. I hear that if there's, you know, major flooding, um, you need to be at, at least around, you know, probably 800 feet or more. Uh, anyway, that's just some thoughts for today. Take care.